quickly, she's a professor of computer science at Stanford. She's co-director of the Stanford Human Centered AI Institute. Um, I've been a huge fan of hers since I first saw her give a talk in 2014. And I can't think of anyone better to be our lead off speaker today. Take it away, Feifei. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Gary and Linz. And uh, since you promise extreme punishment for uh, going over three minutes, I'll just cut to the chase and share with you in the next three minutes a little bit of what uh, I've been thinking. Um, one thing I love about being a scientist is really science to me is about pushing the boundaries of human knowledge through constantly asking more questions and inventing the tools to get there. And uh, my favorite quote from my favorite uh, scientist, Einstein, is the mere formulation of a problem is often far more essential than its solution, which requires creative imagination and, and marks real advances in science. And um, in the next two minutes, I'll just um, really focus on this problem formulation, which I call seeking the North Star. One of the North Stars that uh, the world of AI really benefited from is the great, great cognitive and neuro, um, uh, neurophysiology work in the last 30 years of 20th century. And we have some of the pioneers sitting here in this panel. Um, the, the, the one critical North Star for, for uh, intelligence, human intelligence, especially visual intelligence, is the recognition that object recognition is a critical functionality of human intelligence. Uh, object detection is fast um, by human behavior as well as in the brain, and we find neural correlates for that. And this North Star guided um, an important AI problem in the first decade or so of uh, 21st century, which is the problem of object and image classification. And uh, we have um, benchmarks uh, like ImageNet uh, that created uh, part of the tooling to reach this North Star, which gave us the deep learning revolution that uh, Gary briefly spoke about and we're all familiar with. And also, um, without going over, uh, repeating what Gary said, there has been a lot of limitations. So as a scientist, we ask ourselves, what is the next AI North Star? Of course, there's more than one, but I myself have been is extremely inspired by um, um, evolution and development. Here are two great books I particularly love, one by a zoologist, Andrew Parker, that says uh, the, the critical moment uh, of Big Bang of evolution, which is the animal speciation, is triggered by the sudden evolution of vision or perception, which sets off an evolutionary arms race where animals either evolved or died. And to put it even more beautifully by philosopher Peter Godfrey and um, Smith is that he connects the, the evolution, uh, the animal um, functionality of perception and action by the evolution of our nervous system and says the original and fundamental function of the nervous system is to link perception with action. With all these conjectures, I wanna share with you a story of two kittens one very sad kitten, a seminal work by in the 1960s, showing that if you give, if you allow kittens, uh, newborn kittens, to see the world, one active kitten has uh, his own uh, self-guided interaction and motion to see the world, with a passive kitten yoked to the active kitten who does not have the option to be self self-guided. After a few weeks, the, the nervous system have drastically different outcome. Basically, the pass passive kitten cannot develop a fully functional perceptual system, uh, nervous system, whereas the active kitten can. So this point to, in my opinion, one of the most exciting next North Stars of AI, which is intelligence emerges from active perception and interaction with the world. And uh, there is a fundamentally critical loop between perception and actuation that drives learning, understanding, reasoning, and planning. And this loop um, is, is, can be better realized when our AI agent is embodied, can 
dial between explorative and exploitative actions is multimodal, multitask, uh, generalizable, and oftentimes social. And in my closing, um, closing uh, slide, I just want to share with you that this is the kind of work that I feel extremely excited about. And we are working on different aspect of um, building interactive learning agent that uses perception and actuation to, to learn and understand the world. Thank you.